Hey guys, Bill coming back at you with another video and today we're going to take another look at the Sea of Green about four weeks into flower and we'll also be checking out the Auto Flower clones uh, including the little one that was left in the cloner for a while. So it's been a week since we've seen everything. Uh, let's start out with the clones and uh, see how they're making out. Okay, so there they are. Now we'll start out in the back here. Now this is the one where we had cut the long top off it. There was a top growing out right here and it was just so much taller than the rest and and there wasn't there was a few bud sites on it but it wasn't stacked real well so I just ended up cutting it off. So she's been doing well ever since. Uh, I did go ahead and do a little LST, just kind of pulled out some of them side ones a bit, just to let the light penetrate down there a little bit more and the air to be able to flow a little bit freely. And also lollipopped it a little bit at the bottom there. Now I think she's probably three weeks into flower or close to it. She's got some nice frost coming already. Now let's check out her sister here. Now her sister, I just fed them uh, this morning. And she seems to she seems to want to droop right after her watering and then she'll pick up. So that's why she looks a little bit like that. But she's doing really well for uh, she's stacked up really good. She's probably she's a little bit behind her sister there. So I'm gonna say probably a little over two weeks in flower. And I also cleaned up underneath there a bit and did some LST on her too. And these pots, uh, these are Mogok brand pots. And uh, they work so well for LST. I have a link in the description if you're if you're interested in those. Now I do have a little bit of yellowing going on here on the edges on some of these leaves. Uh, I just have to keep up with the uh, the feeding. These are being fed General Hydroponic Maxi Bloom uh, every day till runoff. There is a couple of days that I miss though, uh, getting a little lazy, but she'll be fine. Uh, I did super crop the top right here. This is the main top, but you can see maybe down here, this is the stem. Uh, just give her a little bit of a twist and a roll here to, to soften up the stalk and bent her right down. That way she's level with most of the rest of the canopy. But she's stacked up really nice. These have far surpassed my uh, expectation for clones. Being auto flowers, uh, I wasn't quite sure exactly what would happen, like, their their growth rate and how fast they would go into flower and uh i definitely didn't expect them to get even the size that they are now there was a small one that was in the cloner for a while i just left it in there for uh, i think it was like three weeks or more so i asked last week for you guys to say in the comments whether you wanted me to plant it well i did plant it because everybody most people wanted me to plant it now I just put it in this two liter pop bottle, um, but she's she's filling that up with roots pretty quick. She seems to be doing really well. Now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with her, whether I'm just gonna leave her in there and kind of let her do her thing and see what, see what happens, or if I'm gonna transplant her into a five gallon pot. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it. She's grown a lot just in the last week. I didn't take her out of the cloner till Monday, uh, once I got a majority of the vote in. And I'm telling you, that root, the roots on this girl, they were at least 10 inches long. And before I realized how long they were, like 10, between 10 and 12 inches, I mean, they were, they were long, nice, healthy roots. And I wanted to get a picture of it, but by the time I had pulled it out of the cloner, I didn't really want to set it out in the air to go grab my camera and, uh, get a picture so I just I planted I like to plant them into the soil as quick as I can so I wasn't prepared to get a picture of that but it was pretty impressive now being an auto flower we can easily see that she is still in veg uh, no sign of any hairs or anything yet and this clone was taken at the same time as these two here which was on December 30th so uh, over a month so she was in that cloner for uh, about a month and um, these guys are between two and three weeks into flower already and she's still in a veg so so the idea that clones will um, stick right with the mother's timeline is not necessarily true when stressed or in certain situations they will prolong 
their veg time. In my experience, they will prolong their veg time. And then once they get situated, they'll continue with their veg. And they'll still flower on their own, obviously. But uh, the length of time in veg can be manipulated through stress. Uh, these, these plants have shown me that. I've noticed it in a lot of other grows that I've done just by stressing out the autos, even just doing LST at the right time uh, or super cropping at the right time. The plants tend to usually stay in veg a little bit longer. It's like they take that time to heal up and then they jump back on track. So um, that seems to be what I'm finding with this and, and this experiment. Uh, it's been really fun, actually. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, they, they've kind of blown me away for being auto flower clones. Now, let's check out everything else in here. We have the, the two transplants. Now, these transplants here, we had just pulled out of the sea of green and put into these pots. Now, this one went into flower almost right away. And um, so she's well ahead of everybody else. I'm going to say she's probably, she's probably only got a couple of weeks left. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to say she's close to six weeks in flower. And... Um, not too bad. I mean, she's got she's got a few good size colas there on her, and I really like her leaf to bud ratio. Now, when I show you the next plant, you'll see why I say that. Like uh, this is going to be super easy to trim. There's not that many leaves, uh, just a few snip snips, and you've got a nice clean bud. Now let's check out her sister. Boom. Now this one here, believe it or not, I have cleaned this out a couple of times. I did a really good one earlier this week, actually, but you would never know it. She's got some chunky bud in there, but it's just so, there's so many leaves. It's so compacted in here that um, you can't really, you can't really tell. So like with one like this, I have enough to go around here that I'm just going to, I'll clean it up again, but I'll just let it go and then I'll grind everything up and uh, use it in concentrates butter or oil or some hash or something like that yeah because she she'd be a, she's a nightmare I mean, she's got leaves everywhere so not exactly what we want but she's still producing so we'll take it okay so let's check out the sea of green now we have had some issues this week with the sea of green uh, we have more yellowing going on uh, we're also developing some uh, spots. Uh, I believe it's deficiencies. And uh, this plant here is the worst by far for the spotting. We can see up top here, we can see the necrosis on the leaves there. So uh, she's, she's definitely much hungrier than the rest. Now, we can take this one down here, which... You know, she's slightly yellow, but for the most part, she's pretty green and she's she's fairly happy. But but I knew this going into this experiment that I would have issues like this. Now, when we did the uh, photo period clones, the sea of green, then uh, everything was just spot on. It was so easy. They were flipped at day 12, uh, 12 days of veg, and then they were flipped. Everything was pretty much the same height and everything... They all came from the same mother, so they they all require the same amount of nutrients. With this here, these are seed, so we have different phenotypes, uh, and we have different needs in each plant. So it's really hard in one pot. It's it's pretty much impossible to give everybody exactly what they need. Which again, I knew that going into it, but I still wanted to try, and I still think it's kind of fun. Now we do still have some yellow. I did do a top dress. Uh, two Mondays, I guess it's been three Mondays ago now. Three Mondays ago, I gave it four cups of the Gaia Green Flower flower uh, Bloom or whatever it's called. Gaia Green Dry Organic Amendments. Uh, so we gave it that, but she is so hungry. She went through that much faster than I thought. So I did actually feed her some general hydroponic maxi bloom last week I, I gave her a dose of that because she just she was she's been hungry for a while and uh i have top dressed her again a few days ago now that three mondays ago i gave her four cups worked that in it seemed to be okay for a little while but but she used it up so quick so this time i added seven cups of the flower nutrients 
and uh, I'm hoping that will take me to the end. Now these are between four and five weeks. Now some flowered earlier than others, so there is definitely some differences and, and they won't probably be done at the same time, unlike the clones that we did last time where they, they all finished up at the same time. Uh, with these here, they're gonna finish up uh, whenever they finish up. Now we got some uh, some really decent buds coming on here though. Uh, the buds haven't seemed to stop growing and they still have uh, roughly four weeks to fill out but but we got some some fairly chunky buds coming here all throughout and then we have ones like this which took a little bit longer to flower but uh, stacked up beautiful and once they do fill out and put pack on some weight I think those are going to be some really nice buds uh, as well as the tall plant back there uh, the, that one tall plant is so different than everything else. But again, she's stacked up really well. Super, like nice, long, long stacks too. Now, even some of the smaller ones though, uh, they're still stacked up really not bad at all. You know, I'll take that any day. We have frost production going on. Uh, getting lots of smells now. This week has really brought out the, uh, the terpenes. Now, one thing I noticed about this too, uh, compared to the clones, like I said, we flipped those at 12 days of veg. Now these here, they went, uh, it was between four and five weeks in veg. Uh, didn't really have a choice in the matter being auto flowers. But with the clones, when I pulled out the roots, they had fairly small root balls. So they had plenty of room. Each, each plant had lots and lots of room. Uh, they were connected a little bit, but still plenty of room. And that was 27 clones. Now this is only 16 autoflowers, but uh, definitely just too many for here. Seeing as how they were in veg for four to five weeks. Um, if we dig down in the soil, that last one, you could dig down no problem with the clones. This here, even just under the soil, it's complete solid root everywhere. This, this entire bed is completely one big root ball. I did water it today. Uh, this is drinking way more than the clones did as well. There's just so much more vegetation here, which is why I have the yellow in the first place is because I was feeding it like it was the last one. Um, not really taking in and considering that there is two to three times more vegetation in this one than in the, uh, in the photo period clone grow. Um, so definitely had to up my feeding. I, I'm kind of new. I'm pretty new to organic. So now with the clones, I used to only give four to six gallons of water every three days or so. With this here, I'm having to get give between six and eight gallons every few days. And this morning I gave her 10 because she was just, she was going pretty dry. So I, I gave her an extra couple of gallons. And I also mixed some maxi bloom with that as well, just to give her, just to give her some nutrients right away while the dry amendments take their time to break down and uh, become available to the plant. Hopefully the synthetic nutrients in there will give her the boost that she needs and uh, hopefully stop any of this yellowing from continuing. And then uh, in another few days or so, the organics should be starting to break down enough that they can start feeding from that. Now we're still gonna get plants. We're still gonna get certain ones that are gonna want more than others. There's nothing I can do about that. Not in this one big pot, but uh, overall, I'm I'm pretty stoked. There's going to be a fair bit of uh, harvestable bud here. So anyway, that's the uh, the four to five week uh, update on the sea of green. Uh, the transplants, I'm going to have to pull that out today. That's really bugging me, and uh, cut out quite a bit of that center. Like there's just so much. I I pulled out handfuls earlier this week. Handfuls. Uh, even like buds, there was so much bud down there, like small larfy bud that I cut out. And um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to clean it out again today because that's just going to bug me. Yeah, everything else is doing pretty good. Really happy with the clones. Like I said, really blows my mind. Uh, that little one's doing so good too. Uh, I'm going to clean up the bottom of that this week and uh, see, I, I'm, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to have to put her in a five gallon pot. Uh, I could leave her in that, but then I'll always wonder what would she be if if I would have put her in a five-gallon pot. So I'll probably end up doing that. Now, this side of the tent, this very small side of the tent, 
is under the SP3000 by Mars Hydro. Seems to be doing a great job of lighting up that uh, three foot section. And then the rest of it, the, the rest of the uh, five feet here, uh, this is being lit up by the Mars Hydro FC8000. Uh, this thing is a beast, I'll tell you. I could even, definitely I could even come out further on this side, but then I wouldn't have much room to move around. Now let's take the sea of green just for a quick spin before we log out. There's that tall one. She's doing, she's stacked up really nice. She's got a ways to go too to fatten up. So, yeah, 16 plants. Um, most of them are doing really well. There's a couple there that are not doing super great, but uh, that's to be expected. So there we go. Okay, guys, so there we have it. We have the uh, four to five week update on the Sea of Green and a look at everything else. Uh, be sure to come back next week. We'll do another update. Uh, we'll see how them clones are doing. Those clones have really piqued my interest. I've just heard for so long, well, it's not worth it to clone auto flowers. I mean, they definitely have their limits when it comes to cloning, but uh, these two and possibly that third one, they kind of crushed a lot of notions that I had about cloning auto flowers. Uh, so far. So it'll be interesting to see how they finish up, uh, what kind of yields we get and what have you. Really interesting. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and if you want to check something else out, uh, go over and check out Hippie Geeks. They've got a grow going on right now where they're using big pots as well, but they're only planting one pot, one plant per pot uh, indoors. So uh, it'd be interesting to see to see how he does with those where he, where he plans on taking it. Is he gonna veg them for six months or is he gonna? Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how they turn out. So uh, go over there, check them out, uh, tell them I sent you, and just give them a little bit of love. Okay, guys, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.